Hey, Singers from the Hidden Levels here with uh, Amazing Princess Sarah showing more of the gameplay here. Uh, this mode is called Bat Mode, and I'm also going to show you the Nature's Mode in this video. So, Bat Mode is everything uh, from the previous level, like double jump, uh, enemies are more powerful, kind of things are also in this. In, in addition, <laughs> Your sword cannot hit affect enemies. You'll do zero damage to enemies with your sword. You have to you only enemy that will you can kill with your sword is the bat. And you can use your use uh environmental objects or the bat to kill these enemies. So Yeah, I'm treating this more like a <laughs> speed run where I'm just running through because um, I can't kill these enemies and um, using the bats. Bat is a pretty hard enemy to throw. But uh, I do show that we can use the bat uh, pretty soon I haven't killed a single bat here so bat you will see me use it very soon because I have to fight the boss and I have no choice here we go bat does more damage You can see when I hit those enemies, uh, showing zero. So it's not doing any damage when I'm hitting these enemies. But bats appear in all the places, not just the places that the bat used to appear they, it'll, they will spawn almost everywhere in the game so you'll have plenty of bats to use I actually jumped over the area that uh, triggers the boss spawn that's why this is happening I'm gonna do like a moonwalk okay now the boss fights can be very tricky because we still have to use the bats. We cannot e attack the boss without using the bat. I can't just hit the enemy, hit the boss like I did before. And the boss has uh, this first boss. If you don't kill her within the t like three or four fl floors she'll drop down all the way break through to the uh, bottom and you will die along with her fortunately there's you know a lot of bats coming out so it's not too hard to kill uh, so that's that that's the end of bat mode uh, preview uh, so that just continue playing like this it's not too hard almost same as the curse mode uh, but instead of using the sword to kill the other enemy and having a countdown timer use the bat to kill those enemies that um, get in your way and you should have no problem next mode is naturist so naturist you're naked and you don't have your sword you have to fight with your fist if you have to Fist does 2 damage, the enemies still have their regular health, so naturally, as you might imagine, you'll be using uh, 
a lot of the objects to kill the enemies uh, good thing is that when you are looking at the enemy like because you're naked they stare at you and they don't move so if you want to you can just stand in front of them and just punch them to death even though it takes a while and uh, when you are looking at them the hearts like they are they fall in love so they show those hearts but you can't collect those hearts for energy or anything so but they will still attack like uh, arrows bombs uh, fires even even when they're paused So I'm trying to kill this fatty using my fist because there's an achievement for that. There you go. You can, as you can see, you can uh, hit the fatty using uh, other like furniture, enemies. You just have to deliver the final blow using your fist. Just keep going. It's easier to play this almost like the other um, <laughs> speed runs. Starting with the first playthrough, a lot of the game is more like a speed run because uh, of the way that the challenges are given. Sorry about that. Uh, I had the alarm on my. Uh, phone go off right there uh, I'm recording this at in the morning and uh, I forgot to mm, turn off the alarm I woke up a lot earlier than I expected so I figured I record some videos and that's what's going on here all right so Yeah, you've seen if you are going for the 1000 this in, in this game uh, you, this would be your naturally sixth playthrough at the minimum so by now you know all the levels pretty much off the top of your head and it's just a matter of taking on these challenges now this is difficult because um you you don't have bats. You only have like the furnitures that are given to you. I once again jumped over. You only are given the furnitures and the uh, stuff that throw at, and you're naked, so you get more damage. And you can only do like two damage when you're tra when you slap the boss. So and and um, you can only like you don't want to throw away. Uh, chance to attack like that so make sure all the furnitures actually hit the boss because that's that does the most damage I mean your slab is going to do only two damage but because of the time limit you have to keep hitting with the slab even though it only does very little damage if you don't you're likely like don't make th that kind of mistake that I like I did. Uh, try to hit the boss with every furniture and pick up the health whenever possible. Like here is you're almost at the bottom here, and since you do get more damage, you have to be very careful. the bottom floor you'll know because it's got like five furnitures and that's your last chance to kill the boss if you if the boss jumps up at that point 
uh, yeah, th that's the end. You'll die. Yeah, here this is the final floor, and I get really lucky because uh, I only have like six health left. Well, that's nature's mode. Um, I can you take on the challenge? Well, good luck. Thank you for watching. My name is Sangrias, and I'll be back with the final uh, vampire mode very soon.